The Canadian Academy of Football, or CAF for short, finished its second outdoor season on a high note this October. 2013 was a year of advancement and growth for the Youth Development Organization. The players played in an environment that when it was a player-friendly environment, it wasn't so much pressure on winning the league, but really we gave the freedom for the players to play the game properly and I believe the players improved amazing, with amazing speed. CAF was an extremely positive experience. I mean, it's, it's early and it's, it's, um, it's creation, but as a league, uh, when I look at the, the organization on the field, the support, the energy, it, it just seems to have a different feel and a different vibe than other leagues. You can really see it. You see it in the quality of the players, you see it in the organization. So we were very, we were very happy with it. 14 academies took part in CAF for 2013, fielding a total of 42 teams ranging from the under 10 to under 20 divisions. All games took place on weekends and all in a central location, something that was appreciated by coaches, players and parents from both an organizational and logistical standpoint. We've been with so many different organizations that we get to the field and we have no idea what's happening, but when we come to CAF, Everything is in place. They have the medical team in place. When a player gets hurt, they're there. Um, the games are on time. The referees are on time. So it's a great experience, not only for the players, but for the coaching staff and for also for the parents. They know exactly what to expect out of CAF. The CAF was very well managed. Sandro did an amazing good job with, with the staff. Like, I think some people who are not part of the academy, they came out, watched the academy games, and they, uh, they were surprised with the quality and, and how it was managed and organized. Just, for me, they did very well. Well, it's a fantastic energy and it's a fantastic vibe to have all the teams here, uh, to have uh, a central uh, command post where we've got you know, therapists and conveners. It just makes for a great atmosphere. Um, you also get to see the level of play on other teams and, and people are very happy with that. They love watching some of the other games and it's a different environment. Of course, it all comes down to player development and those involved with CAF felt their players saw significant benefits this season. Development is the key and we see many of the teams that started in a way end up much better in terms of skills, much better in terms of quality. So uh, I think that all the teams grow together, this is important. And the level was very, very high, which impressed me actually. At the beginning I didn't think it would be like that. And, uh, that's, that's one more reason we should stick with CAF. Very good competition. Extremely te technical, extremely talented, and uh, it's, it's helped our boys progress. I mean, we've moved uh, four or five of our U14 players have had time with our U16s. We've had eight of our players from our U20 uh, that actually made it into the reserve team for numerous games or called up for the balance of the season. So that's, that's been a direct uh, implication of, of having the right competition and being challenged during the year so they can step up to the next level. You know, they allow the players to play without having to worry about the scores, the, the standings, the, all this that, that brings the game down because the, the players are concerned so much about the, the scoring race or the, the, the title race. Here, you know, they come, they play the, the game the way it's supposed to be played and they don't have to worry about who's winning, who's losing, who's on top and who's at the bottom because they, they're allowed to develop, they're allowed to play soccer the way soccer is supposed to be played. Looking forward, 2014 will be another year of growth for CAF as the organization looks to expand every age category. In addition, CAF is starting the first official Girls Academy League and have already been receiving applications. It all adds up to a bright future for soccer development in Ontario. I definitely see a bright future, not only for CAF, but for all the, the, the academies, the teams involved. Uh, I think this is the way, as I said, this is the way uh, uh, soccer should start. This is the way with organization. Organization, uh, people that has the same uh, mindset, developing your players, not only for, for soccer, but for the whole life situation. And these kids are learning so much, and CAF is giving them that for them. More teams, the better. And I, I truly believe that with the way CAF is going, this is going to be a fantastic organization for other teams that know, don't know about CAF. And we'll, through word of mouth, 
they will know about this because it's well organized. It's a, it's a fantastic forum for the kids and teams that are looking for a place to play would be wrong not to, to come to CAF. Go CAF!